guys want to drag a baby, call me Kaiba. Call me Kaiba. Comment down below right now, Kaiba Triff. Because the president of Kaiba Corp is here. And he's here to play. We got an amazing 5 negate blue eyes deck for you guys. Utilizing guard dragons, chaos cards, dangers, everything. Uh, the consistency is amazing. This deck's actually tier 1. It's actually amazing. Literally 5 negates every turn. First, second, hand trap. Don't matter. It don't matter. We do this live right now. Uh, shout out to the guy who's, who uh, requested it. We break blue eyes. And honestly, it's uh, it, it's amazing. It, it worked out fantastic. Uh, it, it's honestly going to blow your mind. Don't forget to subscribe, guys. If you want me to break any deck you guys want, let me know in the comments below or on Facebook. We take $20 deck requests. Break any deck of your choice. We're going to do three uh, solo modes here in Dueling, but just show you guys a combo. Three combo tutorials, and then we're going straight to the deck profile. So enjoy. Let's get it. You need a game plan behind every single deck you play. The game plan we got is search the white stone to get you blue eyes and utilize that stone's effect five times in the turn. Put up five negates and watch your opponent squirm. So we got three replays. We're going to do it super, super fast on combo tutorials. Any hand puts up five negates. Then we're going to do the deck profile. I'm going to go on fast forward. So it's going to go super fast. The game plan literally gets white stone a legend and utilize it like crazy. You see, the beauty here is Melody. Amazing synergy with this deck. I was debating playing Sekka's Light, but Melody, holy shit. You could discard any card you need. Uh, lots of great effects in the deck. Discard a great effect and add Levin here, which is broken, an alternative. And you're going to end up getting blue eyes anyways from this combo with uh, White Stone Legend. You're going to use a guard dragon, bring a red MD, and really use uh, White Stone Legend to add back blue eyes multiple, multiple times in a turn. And having access to uh, level 8, which is broken in this deck, uh, give you access to Spirit Dragon, Dark Matter, Harbinger, everything. So the point of the blue eyes is to spam out level 8 as soon as possible, as quick as possible. And uh, use white stone to really bring out uh, to add the level eights to your hand. So you're gonna spam level eights like crazy with blue eyes, utilizing alternative and everything. Uh, dangers have cool uh, utility in the deck, uh, being seeing as dark man's level eight. I didn't really just keep going here. You go start Yusha, it's so Yusha turbo to be able to bring out guard dragons and to be able to bring out all the blue eyes cards you want to start. You want so Yusha to bring back the blue eyes to your hand, uh, to your deck simply because you're gonna white stone legend effect multiple times in the, ter in the turn. So you're going to run out of Blue-Eyes cards to search. So since you can only search Blue-Eyes, then we're going to uh, the Agar Pain play, LP, a, a Red MD, really use, utilizing Red MD to uh, bring out the White Stone of Legend as, soon as, as many times as you can in the turn. You go into Dark Matter to send Goliath, Arc Brave, and Distrudo. And uh, it, it's a little quick, but I want to make this fast. We've got lots of replays. Maybe the next one will go a little bit slower for you guys. But bring out Pisty there to bring out Red MD again. And in Pisty... And LP, use Red MD, uh, bring out Red MD twice in the turn. You're typically going to draw one year of four Reborn cards, so bring out Red MD three times in the turn. Uh, especially like a White Stone of Legend three times with Red MD. Getting three search, blue eye searches with Red MD, uh, bring the White Stone of Legend. And you're going to uh, get one normal search with the first White Stone. So you typically get four searches with, with White Stone. So you're just going to try and put back blue eyes twice, and you're going to end up utilizing all three blue eyes on the same turn, every single turn. Uh, it's actually crazy. Uh, so you just also super cool here because you go into the three so you just easily. Love and Year is amazing because you get to get rid of a card from your opponent's hand and summon as many times as you want on the turn. And you really just spam up blue eyes as often as you can. Harbinger and just more so you just clear space really uh, for all the negates you could possibly put up. Uh, I get another blue eyes there. Like it, it's actually crazy what this deck can do. Put up a spirit there. Get another search with the blue eyes. Like now you have a situation here where you have. Three negates and the uh, uh, you got three negates with Crystal Wing, Spirit Dragon, Harbinger with a Destrudo Engrave and Goliath coming out. So you got four guaranteed. But you want to trigger the Destrudo. So what we're gonna do is here just to make space is uh, we're gonna clear space here. So we put it in that little area. We make Rebel uh We didn't even use the effect. It's usually a special summon. So in retrospect, we could have the uh, just special and save a card in our hand. But we're like, you know what? Who cares? <laughs> Who cares, man? We got uh, so many negates anyways. Uh, and there we go. We're not even going to use Summon Source Effect. We're not even going to use Summon Source Effect at all. Simply because you don't have... We, we don't play Eclipse Wyvern in this uh, deck. But uh, later on when I change up the deck profile a little bit. Or deck list, we put in Eclipse Wyvern. Because Sora could have bring out Eclipse Wyvern as a target for the Distrudo. Because sometimes you're missing a card to bring out... Uh, for Distrudo the target to make this Dragster to end uh, your thing. And then trading can add you two more. Melody, we have no... 
no more blue eyes left in the deck because you go through all your blue eyes every single turn. You can play five blue eyes or dragons, I would, but unfortunately, uh, White Stone adds blue eyes, only blue eyes. So, so Yusha does have to put back blue eyes as many times in the first two or three times because he uses the effect four or five times in the turn. So, since you uh, really use White Stone Legend four or five times in the turn, uh, it's important to save all your blue eyes because you're gonna end up losing a search. So, here we, we lost a search, we couldn't get four cards and had to end it. And uh, lastly, on their turn, Goliath comes out on their standby phase. And you're left with a Dragster stop evenly. Crystal Wing, which could have been Hot Red if you want. Uh, so it could have stopped two because this is the Guard Dragon play. Spirit Dragon, because why not? This guy's actually so, so, so good. Amazing versus the best deck in the world, uh, Pendulum. And you got Harbinger uh, for whatever you may need. And Goliath, just really stop your opponent. A little of everything to really stop your opponent from uh, stopping you. Hot Red would have been nice here as well. But I figure since you're going Harbinger anyways, since you needed a light, so you can't go into... Uh, uh, you can't go into uh, Zombie Stein since you get blue eyes in there as well. Uh, because Zombie Stein requires darks. So I thought, figure why not? We're gonna go to the next one. Uh, we're gonna do the first bit of this one slow and then uh, next we're gonna go fast. So, uh, this time we open Red MD, which uh, we don't want to open Red MD, we really don't because uh, Red MD you want to get with LP, so you're kind of losing a card in your hand because you're typically just gonna summon out uh, with LP, you're gonna summon out the Red MD from your hand. But we're like, you know what, we, we drew it anyways, so we might as well just utilize it. You're gonna lose uh. Uh, a search from it at the end. We're gonna bring out alternative. Alternative is cool. Uh, Melody's amazing in the deck because you can bring out alternative, Lebanir, uh, Lev or Blue Eyes, whatever you need. Uh, so it has really cool synergy in the deck. Here we're gonna go into Sayuja. Uh, the game might really go into Sayuja as many times as you want. So what we do here is we add that, draw four. Fortunately, uh, White Stone has to be chilling one, uh, but it's all good. We, like, you just plus like crazy. Even if they veil it, even uh, so the mini dragon uh, chain blocked it, so you can only veil it and permanence it. And even if you veil it in Princess you didn't need to draw. It's like, you already had the, the baby dragon. As long as you go into uh, the guard dragons, you, you win. As long as you go into guard dragons and utilize the White Stone Legend in your graveyard, you, you just win. Like, it's it just so good. Like, you just keep, we're going to fast forward this one. Maybe we'll slow the next one. But uh, it is so good. Like, it's actually so good. You know, we're going to fast forward everything. We're going to die purple too. But, like, look at this, bro. Like, you just spam the whole board, utilizing Red MD as many times as you possibly want. Like, and then Dark Matter, bring out Distrudo and bring out Goliath. Saryuja again. And you just keep Saryuja in. So you just use Saryuja. And you really hand up the first one, even though you chain block it. So they can only veil it or impermanent it. They can't ash or ogre your Saryuja. Because you're going to chain block it 99% of the time. Uh, you, just, you keep going here. Like, you just keep going, bro. Like, you actually, we, we take one small uh, thing back there super quick. Uh, but it's so good. Like, you can just literally bring out whatever on earth you want. And uh, the the plays just keep going forever. You put up another Spirit Dragon there. I uh, go 11 year just for fun. So Yusha, and we're gonna put up more negates. So you go. Uh, so Yusha is literally there, not even to draw. You don't care about the draws. You don't. You can draw anything you want. It doesn't matter. It's literally just there to uh, make space. And they're gonna bring up the Distrudo we brought from the Dark Matter, and it's gonna end up with Goliath. And there we go. Like uh, you draw the trade in, and like it's actually amazing. Every single turn ends up like this. These are. Three hands in a row that we did on stream. They're not like the best hands that we... They're not hands that we uh, picked, hand-picked. They're the first three hands we did on stream. This is all live. We're all doing this live right now. This is the third hand we had on stream. This one sucked more. Uh, we had dangers. Uh, the blue, you don't want to see the blue eyes. You prefer to see the sage or the white stone. Because you get an effect and you discard to add the blue eyes for free. But it's all good. So even with this hand, you still have five negates. It, like, it doesn't matter. Uh, now we keep going, little by little, the dangers have cool synergy in this deck, because he wants Saryuja, right? And, uh, so then we drew up a second blue eyes, and even with this hand, we still have it, it doesn't matter. We even hit the Nessie, it doesn't matter, like, even with the bad hand, we have two blue eyes in hand, we have two blue eyes in our hand, we're still gonna resolve it, like, even if you hit the Jackalope, it didn't matter, like, it doesn't matter what you hit, uh, you're always good, you're always good, no matter what, no matter what happens, no matter what cards you draw, we drew two blue eyes for crying out loud, uh, we drew two blue eyes. You chain blocked us, so you should, can't uh, Asher Ogre it or Gamma it. And you're good. Like, the, the deck just has so many extenders that you really just can't lose with this deck. So, uh, we did a little take back there. We did we uh, kept the Red MD in our hand instead of putting something else back. Because LP wants to, always wants to special out the Red MD, but we didn't have access to the baby, uh, not baby, the stone. If you don't have access to the stone, you need access to the stone or Red MD, one or the other. Uh, so... It's just amazing, this deck. I can't even say enough good words about it. We're going to keep going here. Uh, at the end of this combo, we didn't destrude out. Uh, there's going to be a little situation where we're going to... We fix. We could have destrude out by fixing the main deck. I'm going to show you guys the video. You're going to pause it when it comes to it. But you really just keep spamming the board. Because everything you draw, you're going to end up special summoning. Alternative, let you special summon it. 
Uh, all the blue eyes are going to be special summon. Buy this at Usuals that you're making multiples of. Uh, you're going to have so many reborn cards. Like, you're just going to keep going. So we, we should have pissed it before we even went into our last star Usual, but that's okay. That's totally okay. Uh, it doesn't matter at that point. We're going to add a few more here. Uh, Melody, you can add double Evan if you need. We already went to an alternative, so we didn't need to. And uh, one thing to note here is if we played, uh, we have Reproducus and Summon Sork. If we played a level four that, a uh, level four dragon that is not a tuner, so any tuner under level six for destroyer target, we had a, uh, another dragster on top by using summons, uh, Reproducus and Summon Sork, but we didn't at the time. So we fixed up the deck profile, deck list. This is the deck list, guys. We added Eclipse Wyvern to be able to do that because you want some target with Summon Sork at the very end to target one of your dragons to bring out, either you bring out a tuner to make a spirit dragon or you bring in a level eight to make Harbinger. But at the very end, if you, uh, usually Drakes is the card you need to make. So you need a uh, level seven or lower non-tuner to bring it with Summon Sork. So we would have brought Eclipse Wyvern and target with the Strudo and then banish anything, doesn't matter. Uh, just the best one to bring a anyways. Uh, that's the deck, guys. Five negates every single turn. Uh, as for the deck, pro deck list, deck profile, three blows of dragon. We had three alternatives in that list, but we changed it up. If you wanted to make space for the dragon spirit of white, and since you have multiple solutions and melody to get alternative, you only need one alternative. Uh, two is okay, but one I find ideal. You don't want to draw it by itself. You want to add it, draw it with melody, get search with melody, draw it with the blue eye or the dangers, or draw it with your three solutions. Don't forget, you're drawing 12 cards in this combo. Uh, so four, 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 and out of those twelve, in those twelve cards, you have also danger, upstart, goblin effects to draw again, and the melodies and the alternatives, and you only want to see one. Any more, it might break your hand. Uh, you need to play triple blue eyes because you're gonna search every single one of them with white stone legend. One dragon spear white right? because uh, with Shr dragon shrine has a really cool effect. I'm debating playing triple shrine instead of one foolish double shrine because you, you could send spirit of white going uh, first or second send uh, spirit of white. And then uh, send white stone. So you always want to make sure white stone's in grave or in hand, no matter what. And uh, so you have six ways to s draw it, and you have three other ways to send it. So you have nine ways uh, plus uh, nine ways through the LP getting it. Ten ways even because if you hard draw red MD, uh, you could also uh, special L uh, this with LP. You summon Sork. You could bring it out even with summon Sork in multiple different ways. But it's best to just hard draw it. But it's super cool going second having giant spirit, spirit of white. In your grave for free through Dragon Shrine or whatever it may be, Dark Matter, whatever it may be, uh, or Summon Sork, whatever, uh, or just hard drawing it in general and summoning it with Saryuja or whatever you want. Because if you play decks that have like four back row, you get two of them are real, two of them are bluffs, and you end up just getting rid of every single one of them. Even for Salad Boys, you get rid of their uh, field spell easily. Triple White Stone, Triple Sage. We don't have any normal summon in this deck except Sage. Simply because you have to, uh, you can always make Sarujia without your normal summon and you draw 12 times with Sarujia and you have multiple danger effects. You're always going to end up drawing the Sage. And the Sage is what you really want to make sure you get White Stone. This deck's not complete without White Stone. White Stone, you literally use it to fight five times and uh, really just break this card with Red MD. So uh, it's so, so amazing with Red MD. So you want to make sure you always save your normal summon to get that. Six mini Chaos Dragons because they're so damn powerful in this deck. And you want anything possible to chain block the Sayusha to make sure your Sayusha resolves. Uh, triple Eleven here, I think this card's broken, especially since it's a level rank 8 turbo deck. You just make rank 8s like crazy, Dark Matter, get out Goliath ASAP, and then you make Harbinger as well. So uh, Eleven years has so many, and it's a free discard. Discard's a card in your opponent's hand, and going second is amazing. This, hand, this deck's amazing going second, because Spirit and Alternate resolve their effects. Eleven years resolve its effects, and so many cards resolve their effects going second. Uh, one red and deep. This card I think needs to be uh, bus uh, needs to be banned. It's it just so damn good. Uh, we played these nine good dangers, three triple cobra because you want more ways to get rid of get Bigfoot. Uh, you can always search Bigfoot. A lot of times again, you search, you draw twelve times in the in the with Sayusha. You're gonna end up finding some way to get Bigfoot out, and you don't need to play more Bigfoot because it sucks. Triple cobra is infinitely better. A lot of times you can go into Reproducus first just to put a danger in grave, and then Chupacabra just to ensure that you're always going to resolve even if you discard it. Chupacabra is essentially one of the good nine. Uh, two Mothman. I want to play a third, but I, I didn't want to play 60. 50 was fine, and every card is just so good. I don't want to take anything else out. You need one level eight. You don't need more. One level eight is perfect because you're going to uh, bring it out with the Nessie, Chupacabra, Jackalope. One's fine. Uh, you don't want to break, uh, break it with it. One Wyvern needed, any level 7 or less uh, non-tuner needed for Distrudo. Then Distrudo itself, Arc Brave, and uh, Goliath. Dark Matter sends Goliath, Arc Brave, and one of these two, and then Summon Circle will bring out the other. Triple Melody, absolutely broken in this deck. You're going to discard a Danger or a White Stone, 
and plus they add three cards to your hand. So it's a plus one, but the cards that you get from it are also a plus. So like Levin is gonna give you a plus one, so and the card that you get from it is gonna give you a plus one, so it's like a plus two already. And then they're all free. Every card you get from it summons itself on field. So Melody's amazing in this deck. Melody's power in this deck is like almost on par with the power of Sekka's Light. I was debating playing Sekka's Light in it, but Melody and these spells are so good in this deck, I just couldn't. Foolish and Double Shrine. I was thinking Triple Shrine uh, instead of the Foolish. Or uh, Four Shrine might be too much. If you want to take anything out, out of the deck, you take a Shrine. But going second, having a Spirit of White in the Grave, and having infinite ways to special summon it is just too powerful. Uh, I just had to play uh, some Shrines. And I've had one Foolish. The only card you send in the Grave is Dragons anyways. So I was debating playing a third Shrine, but sometimes you do draw double. So with a Foolish, you just have better access going second. Uh, so going second is more important than going first. Going first, you're always going to put five negates. Uh, but going second, you want more cards that are just good going second. And the versatility here was Spirit of White going second was nice. So we have to throw in the Shrines. Uh, Reborn Triple Succession. I don't care. Oh, shit. <laughs> I don't care that Succession is a hard one per turn. I don't give a shit. You only need to use it once. You only need to use it once. Uh, the fact that Red MD is not a hard one per turn, you want every Reborn card in the game possible. I would play uh, the uh, Return of the Dragon Lords, but it doesn't bring out Red MD, so I don't want it. You want to play every card in the game that brings out Red MD. Because so you, if you draw double, so you will simply bring it back. And you don't, you go, to, you go to have bricks in your opening hand, it doesn't matter. Dangers will typically discard the bricks anyways. Uh, you want to see one of these four through your 12 draw with Sonyusha, no matter what. Uh, you don't need it. But it just helps you so much. Like, you get another Red MD. Like, you could do five negates without drawing one of these four. But drawing one of these four, like, makes it even easier through a hand trap. So, if you had a hand trap, it, uh, if they hand trap you, like, hey, it's even easier to do it. Uh, these are cards we might play, we, we could play, we want. They're just not the actual side deck. So, one, Bingo Machine. Uh, the reason I didn't want to play is because you have to, uh, it's random. If you got to pick which one of the three you get or something like that, or... If you play three alternative, it's basically just a searcher for alternative, but we're not even playing three alternatives, so why would you play that? I didn't want to throw in cards just to make have more blue eyes cards in it. You go through seven, eight, nine blue eyes cards, and you like even more. You go through go through all white zone legends, you go through all blue eyes white dragons, you go through an alternative, and like you go through like seven or eight of these, and you like so you search blue eyes white dragon five times, stone hits the board five times. Like this does more than what a 40 card blue eyes deck does, like infinitely more. This is just the best way to play blue eyes. It just so damn broken. I didn't want to throw in more Blue Eyes cards for the sake of having a Blue Eyes deck. I value having the best deck. Like, every single Blue Eyes card in here gives you so much value. I'm not just playing this because it's Blue Eyes, Kaiba, haha. Ha. I'm not just doing it because of that. I'm doing it because it's broken. <laughs> I'm doing it because it's broken. Like, it has so much utility. Uh, if you don't care about money, Chaos Emperor is amazing in this deck. Like, I would play three of this if I can. Uh, and play more Chaos cards because you're getting all of them back. Uh, so if I can, I'll play trips of these and play some light pulsars in there too because you're getting all these cards back for free anyways. And going second, way more, much more versatility. I tried to find someone to play that bulls, but I couldn't. Double wyvern if you really want eleven, you're that bad. But Melody all searches, so there's no reason. Uh, Distrudo mirror, more Distrudos if you want, and a mirror uh, for Yazi. But I really only sided going second, a mirror Yazi, uh, and I played triple shrine at that point to build a send if you want, just versatility. Uh, another rank eight negate if you need a curious. I felt I never went into it. The nightmare cards going second again. You could uh, get rid of them, but you don't need any nightmare cards going second. The deck blitzkrieg through it, and you have so many ways to pop cards anyways. And a zombie side, another negate if you need. Triple so you drop pasty, LP agar pain. You go into these six every single turn, no matter what. So 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 good until so usually gets limited. You should try to utilize it in almost every deck that you can, especially if you play dangers in it. And ones that you can utilize, like, with Guard Dragon, Guard Dragon, so usually, like, it's just crazy. Absolutely nuts with Red MD. Like, absolutely nuts. Uh, Rubber Dog and Summon Sword, amazing. Uh, Boil Sword, only card you need going second. Uh, the Galaxy Eyes combo with Dark Matter, Harbinger, Dragster, Crystal Wing, Spirit Dragon. This deck's absolutely broken. I can't even say more good words about it. It's not just a cool, cute, blue eyes deck. It is a fucking broken... Five negate blue eyes deck that you put up five negates every single turn. Well, those three hands are random in a row on stream, and we did it. Anyways, guys, that's the video. I hope you guys enjoy it. Don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget if you guys want me to break any deck, let me know in the comments below and let me know on Facebook. We break any deck all live on stream. This deck was amazing. You're gonna see more videos of me wrecking scrubs with blue eyes. Hope you guys like this video. Don't forget to subscribe. We'll see you in the next video. Peace.